and welcome to the new episodes. Today we're going to be playing War Game, Red Dragon, and we're going to be playing the first campaign, Busan Pocket, I would place the South Korean forces. So let's get into it, there's always a little cutscene to watch, so we shall watch that and then start the game. June 10th, 1987. South Korean dictator Chung Do Wan, having reached the end of his official presidential mandate and willing to step down, announces his choice for a successor. This appointment, which oversteps any electoral process, triggers the wrath of the students and the liberals, who were hoping for democratic reforms. June 10th to the 18th, 1987. In a matter of days, over a million protesters take to the streets all over the country. U.S. forces in Korea are ordered to remain on lockdown in their barracks. North Korea does not fail to notice the situation in the South. Agents infiltrate designated circles in order to increase the level of chaos, while military forces are put on alert. June 19th, 1987. While police and security forces are about to be overwhelmed, President Chun mobilizes the army in the streets. Hard-pressed and panicked by a hostile crowd, an officer orders his troops to fire. In a matter of minutes, the shooting spreads all over the streets of Seoul. June 19th to the 21st, 1987. The crackdown is brutal, resulting in over a thousand casualties and many more arrests. June 21st, 1987. With U.S. troops still confined to their barracks and the ROK army deployed in the streets, North Korean leader Kim Il-sung decides the time has come for Korea's reunification. June 22nd, 1987. When the North Korean artillery barrage rolls over the DMZ at dawn, U.S. and ROK units, disorganized by the civil unrest, are taken by complete surprise. June 22nd to the 27th, 1987. Within a few hours, the first lines of defense are overwhelmed. Within a few days, the battered U.S. and ROK units are pushed back to a last perimeter around the vital harbor of Busan. There we go. Quite like those intros. Sets the scene quite well. So we're going to hear we've got Chung Ho Kelly from Hawaii 5 -0. And he's saying to us, Major, I'm sorry, but I cannot get through to General Headquarters. All communications with the front are cut off. Ah, wait, yes. I think I managed reaching an advanced post of the 3rd Infantry Battalion. I'll put you through now. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. This is Sergeant June from the 3rd Infantry Regiment. They totally thrashed us. They're coming straight at you. They're not even stopping to take prisoners. At least one armoured and two infantry regiments, supported by more artillery than imaginable. Our headquarters has just blown up and we only have one defence line left. Communication breakdown, Major. I will try to get through to our other headquarters and to the US General Headquarters in this region. In the meantime, I am giving you the reports on enemy troop movements. Roger that, Chung Ho Kelly. So there we see, North Korea, I'm sure that's not the official name but we'll give him, that's what we're going to be calling him, and we're South Korea and we're holding Busan. So Major, I managed contact in American headquarters, we should be getting information on their objectives shortly. In the meantime, here is the situation, Busan must not fall, American reinforcements arrive, Busan must not fall before American reinforcements arrive, which is in three days time according to their promise. We are holding the three peripheral sectors and the enemy is surrounding us. We have a few airborne and ground reinforcements, but they should be able to carry, but they should enable us to make up for our losses, which will be inevitable. Good luck, Major. Well, we'll see about losses. So here we are, we've got forces around Busan, 
um, Wee Chang, Dagu, and Yong Yok. The pronunciations are terrible. But never mind. And there's Seoul. So we're, we're defending Busan here. So we're going to send a special aviation regiment up north. This is a special aviation regiment, the UDT SEALs Special Forces. They're at your disposal to support your ground defences. We need logistics to send up there with that airborne regiment. And the 161 Fighter Squadron, which has the KF-16Cs, or the KFCs, as they shall be known. And they're going up north too. The F-4 Peace Pheasant 2s, Strike Squadron, Bomber Strike Squadrons, we are going up north. And we've got the F-86 F Sabres. We are going to be going into Dagu to support our infantry regiments. And then we have an heavy armoured battalion of K1 tanks, which are pretty decent. You're going into Wuchang. And the close recon, con, Kai, whatever that stands for. And they're going to be going into Wichang as well, because I don't think I've got Recon in there, where I have. Yeah, I've got Recon there, and we've got Recon up there, so yes. So the Recons are coming down, and they're going to help hold Wichang. So we've set up our peripheral and we've got to hold these areas. We have got some land forces, so we're going to bring in the anti-air straight away. And also our attack helicopters will come in. The attack helicopters are going to go to Wichang to support these ground forces, giving me aerial support. And we'll get a logistics base in there to support them later. The anti-air will go north and help support the fighter squadron up there. So there's turn one or turn zero as we're at let's see what happens here come the North Koreans and they want to have a bro down we hold all these areas and they're going to be coming from Chilchang Uh, it looks like Bravo. We have to hold Bravo. And there's lots of cities, so it's an infantry battle. And we're going to be trying to destroy their air defences. We're bringing in the Shilker and the ZSU 57s. We've got the F5s. Carry the napalm bombs. Tank faggots. Oh, we ain't got any tanks, so they're going to be useless. We got the strellers and the bom chong su. Bo chong su. I love these names. No idea what they mean. So we're mainly going to be fighting our infantry 
and a lot of aircraft. The Sabres carry the 127mm rockets, which should be good enough to take out most of their infantry and their air defences. So let's crack on. I have played this before, for about 12 hours. I still haven't managed to do this first mission. All the way through, we usually end up losing Busan. So we'll bang our little command post in there, and we'll now look at putting troops into Bravo. We're going to go mainly with our main 15 point infantry. These will be the main forces that will hold. Also want a couple of stingers just in case they do bring out their aircraft and we're also going to go with some of these 90 millimeter heat rockets decent range Capable of taking down troop carriers. And just doing enough damage. Now we want our aircraft. The F-86. We can take a fair few of them. And a recon unit. sat at base. Also going to try and put two of these flamethrowers in the trees in case they come this way. Well, they will come this way. Yeah. And the infantry that get blown out, you can take them out. We don't want to bother with Yongyok. Busan. Um, I should really keep Busan, but it's no real point. They will come down into Yong Deck and around to Busan. But most of the battle is going to be taking place in this area. We have more morale than us, so we're going to need a lot of points and... I don't need to get that many. So not an easy battle, but one I think we can win and maybe should win. Let's get one more plane in and we launch battle first of all, unload all our troops. And then we'll just wait for them to come and try and destroy us. Should be trundling down these roads. Maybe along this road here to try and come into. There, look, there we go. There's the first lot are coming down here. And they're probably going to try, they're going to be looking to get into there, probably. Which they can have. It's the first of the M5s. And their destructive napalm bomb. Uh, 
Oh, can't they brought a U.S. straight away? Command unit straight in. That was a mistake, uh, computer. Just waiting to see if any of these are anti-air. Getting a bit of a kicking. Early doors. Yep, yeah, there we go. We've got at least one anti-air in there. Some more. And another one. Try and get rid of some of these anti air. See, it's one massive noisy battle in there. I've got some more anti air up here. Already losing out on this side of the city. To bring our planes in from this side and fire. On these computer positions. Starting to take out our planes. <sighs> and that's not going too well. If we can take out some more, and now all our infantry have gone. to just aircraft. We'll let them come towards us a little bit. Somewhere. Oh, the 
anti aircraft guns. They're coming round here to try and take out our command post. We're going to have to stop that in quickly. Can't have eyes on us. Napalm monster going to work. about holding on here. Destroying their infantry. Oh. They've also destroyed ours. We should melt. Pretty close. Yeah, we've got the upper edge. Recon in here quickly. So I knew they'd come down and take Booslam. See if we can bomb. Busan and its little um, what's left in there?
14 points. And there we go. Battle number one was a draw. But still, our losses were quite significant. And we lost roughly just under half our infantry. We lost three of our recons. So we're down to just one. And we lost three planes. We can call it with three planes. But they should be decimated. We've still got five command points. They lost half their Strella, half their tank faggots, and nearly a whole of their Bolshon Tsus. So they've only got 14 infantry units. They lost all the Shoke. Taken them out. Strangely enough, they didn't lose any instead of shoes, and they lost no planes as expected. But that's a decimated force now. And that is the first battle done with. I think you enjoyed. It certainly did. And next, we'll probably be fighting in Wichang. Before we move on to take on Yongok. In episode 2. The Americans will come from over here. And we have to try landing Seoul. That's a good battle. One for the future. For the moment... Thank you for watching.